Okay, we're going to look at graph transformations. Um, each transformation we look at, each different type, of which there are three, we're going to look at two versions of it. We're going to look at what happens if it's an outside type, what happens if it's an inside type. When I say outside, I mean if we take the original curve, which is over here, we're going to call it f of x. If what happens to f of x is outside of the description f of x, then it only affects the y coordinates and if what's happening is written inside the brackets next to the x, it's inside next to the x, then it's only going to affect the x coordinates. Let's start off with outside type. So if what's happening, if we're adding or subtracting something, the effect is it's going to move up or down and it does what it says. So if it says add two, if we come over here to the graph, we're adding two to each of the y coordinates. So zero, zero will move to uh, zero, two. Two minus three will move to two minus one. And four, zero will move to four, two. So it's only the y coordinate changed. And then to sketch that curve, it follows the original shape. But it's just moved up by two units. So on our notes over here, two minus three moves to two minus one. Um, if it's subtracting two, well, it's going to move down by two units. So each coordinate, because that, that we're kind of uh, looking at it by following the pattern of these coordinates. So zero, zero goes to zero, two. Two minus three goes to, I'm just going to relabel that label there. That's going to call that um, minus five. Two minus three goes to two minus five. That should actually say minus 10 there. Um, and 4, 0 goes to 4, minus 2, right? So it's going to look something like that. Okay, so 2 minus 3 goes to 2 minus 5. So outside transformations, if it's written like this, um, just changes the y coordinate and does exactly what it says. Now, if it is an inside transformation, it is slightly different. So where it says plus two, where it says plus two, it's going to do the opposite. Um, and we're only changing the x coordinates. So we're going to, instead of adding two, we're going to subtract two. So zero, zero would move to minus two, zero. And two minus three will move to zero minus three and four zero will move to two zero so it's going to look like this again it's obviously going to now follow the original shape so it's going to follow the original shape so I put uh, on my red line and it's going to do something like that, okay? Uh, so 2 minus 3 moves to 0 minus 3 because it's only this coordinate that has changed. And we're subtracting 2, we're doing the opposite. So therefore, if it's take away 2, f of, f of x minus 2, we're going to add 2 to the x coordinate. So that this coordinate here is going to become... 0 minus 3. So moving over to the graph, um, which is getting pretty, pretty cluttered here, but um, so we're shifting it now uh, f of x minus 2, then this coordinate moves to here, to 0, um, and oh, sorry, I'm taking the wrong coordinate, this one so we're take, going back to the black original, the black one, this goes to 2, 0, and this one here goes to 4 minus 3, which is here, and this one goes to 6, 0, let's say that's somewhere here, so then we have this, okay? Okay, now we're looking at stretches. So let's look at the outside type. Outside type. Um, the number, the stretch factor, is on the outside. So that is a scale factor of 2. So 
Outside only changes the y coordinate, so this coordinate 2 minus 3 is going to be the y coordinate is going to be times by 2, it's going to give us minus 6. Obviously, 0, 0, the y coordinate is also times by 2, but 0 times 2 uh, is 0, so they stay pinned where they are. But 2 minus 3 is going to move to 2 minus 6, um, and so it's going to look something like that. So it's been pulled here, stretched by a scale factor of 2. Now let's look at inside. Inside, right, it looks like it's a scale factor of 2, but remember it does the opposite. So it's not a scale factor of 2, it's actually a scale factor of that reciprocal. It's a scale factor of a half, the opposite. Um, so 2 minus 3 actually moves to, we're going to half that to 1. Remember the y coordinate stays the same. So on here, um, what's going to happen in this that is, is that it's going to be pulled in. So this one moves to 1 minus 3, so it goes there. Obviously, 0 times a half is still 0, and that's still... Um, but, oh, 4 is obviously times by half as well, so that comes to 2. Um, and so we have... Whoops, we have this shape. Whoopsie. So this has been pulled in this direction, parallel to the x-axis. It's been contracted in, whereas an outside one has been kind of stretched up or down. So um, that's stretches. Right, let's move on to the last is reflections. Okay, so an outside... Okay, so now we're going to look at reflections. These are pretty straightforward. So basically, um, if the transformation is negative f of x, where, where we're seeing that the negative sign is outside the, fun the description of the function, then we, we know that outside functions um, change the y coordinate only, so that will go to 2, 3, because we're timesing it effectively by minus 1. So this coordinate goes to 2, three um, uh, zero zero is unchanged and four zero is unchanged but it is as you can see it is a reflection in this axis which is the x-axis so it's a reflection in the x-axis um, and the opposite is true for an inside type. So if the minus sign, if the negative sign is written next to the x, it's going to change obviously only our x coordinate. So that becomes minus 2, minus 3. Y coordinate remains unchanged. So this one bumps over to this side. And this one, 4, 0, bumps over to minus 4, 0. 0, 0 remains unchanged. Um, and this is going to be a reflection in the y-axis. So what we see happening is... What we see happening... Hold on. Oops. There we go. Is we are going to go like that. Yeah. So that is a reflection... in the y-axis. Okay, right. So let's just go back to our which is over here. So you have this page in your uh, learning pack, survival kit pack. If you could turn to that page and complete um, your summary notes. So basically what we're saying is that um, outside transformations only change the y-coordinate, inside change the x-coordinate. Oops, that should be blue. So um, if, we're, if it's a shift, if it's plus a or minus a, f of x plus a or minus a, then this is a movement up, this is a movement down. If we're over here on a shift, plus a is a movement left, and minus A is a movement right, the opposite of what you think. If uh, we're having a stretch, on the outside, a stretch factor of A, we would be timesing, that should be blue, 
we should be timesing by that scale factor. Here, if it's an inside transformation, we'll be timesing by the reciprocal of that scale factor, right? So if it was two, it'd become a half. And here, reflections, if it's an outside one, it is a reflection in the x-axis. And if it's an inside, it is a reflection in the y-axis. Okay, come to class and we'll have some more practice.